What's up guys, Salt here. Welcome back to another video. And today, the April 20th Spring Loaded Apple event has just wrapped up and I'm here to give you the quick recap of it. But right before we get into the video, please consider going down below and hitting the subscribe button and the little bell button so you never miss another video. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. All right, so Apple was not messing around when they said that this event was loaded. We've gotten so much stuff from AirTags to new iMacs, new iPad Pros, new Apple TVs, new iPhone colors. It was crazy. But starting off, the first thing that we have is a brand new purple iPhone 12 color. It seems that they've taken the purple color from the iPhone 11 and brought it on over to the iPhone 12 for us. And not gonna lie, this was pretty out of the blue and unexpected. And when they announced it, I was just like, what, where'd that come from? But okay. But yeah, that's pretty much it to say about it. Not that much. You can order it starting this Friday and it will be released April 30th. Now onto the next topic, there are some new Mac accessories. And by that, I mean new magic keyboards, magic mice, and some new magic trackpads. And we'll get into the reason for this later in the video, so keep watching. But the one that changed the most was the magic keyboard, which still is not that clear. I can't believe it. I feel like if they were going to change one thing, and I'd be perfectly fine with them only putting a backlight on it. But no, they didn't. Instead, they put it in a bunch of different colors and it's now smaller with some a few redesigned keys. And probably the biggest part is that it now has a Touch ID sensor, just like the MacBooks. For the Magic Mice and the trackpad, basically all that there is is seven new colors. And now on to the next brand new product. We finally got AirTags, I can't believe it. As some of you may know, we have been waiting for AirTags or basically the apple tiled little tracking accessory for so long. If you watched my iPhone 12 rumors video, we were even suspected to finally see AirTags at the iPhone 12 event and we didn't. We didn't see it at any of the events last year. So finally it was time for them to be released. And guess what? They look just like John Pross's renders, which I'll put up on the screen here. The comparison of the two, they're pretty much exactly the same. But one surprise to me, which I actually really like, is that you can customize them. You can put an emoji on the front and there is some room for a couple letters if you want. And basically one of the things that AirTags has that some other trackers don't have is that on your phone, you can actually walk around and it will tell you which way to go and how far away you are from the top from the air tag not the tile and finally the price for these which is actually a lot less than we thought is $29 for one which I think is a really good deal especially considering I think tiles cost $25 correct me if I'm wrong or you can get a four pack for $99 free custom engravings on all of them but the one thing that did catch me is that if you want to put them on your keys or something, which pretty much everyone is, you have to buy a separate $30 keychain, which is just as much as the AirTags. I mean, I get it, but I don't know why it had to be $30. It would have been a lot better if it was just like 20 bucks or something, but I'm pretty sure that'd be the cheapest thing that Apple sold. But yeah, that's pretty much it for AirTags. Apple barely spent any time talking about them in the event, and you'll be able to order these Friday, and they will be available April 30th. Next product is a new Apple TV 4K. So it now has 4K high frame rate HDR. And pretty much the main thing is a brand new Apple TV Siri remote. And I think it looks pretty good. I'm, that's all I have to say on it. It kind of brings back the vibe of the older Apple TV remote. Yeah, I like it. I personally didn't really have that much of a problem from the last one, the all black one, but I do think it looks better. And also the Apple TV 4K now has an A12 Bionic chip in it, which I mean, it's a little old because we're on like what the A14 now, I believe, but whatever, it's still pretty good. And then on to the final two big products. First, we have the new iPad Pros. And this one really surprised me. The iPad Pros now have an M1 chip inside of it. Like what? I that's supposed to be for the Max? I mean, it was rumored that we were going to get a chip very similar to the M1, but I guess when Mark Gurman was saying that, he literally meant that we're getting the M1 inside of the iPad. That still surprises me. And also it now has Thunderbolt. It can go up to two terabytes of storage, 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is like, this thing is really turning into a computer. And of course now has 5G, 
but that doesn't really matter because 5G kind of sucks right now anyways. And the 12.9 inch iPad Pro now has a liquid retina XDR display, which is basically a mini LED display, which is a lot better. I really don't know why they only put it on the 12.9 inch, which really sucks because I want the 11 inch, but it doesn't have the mini LED display. They also had some camera improvements and now on the front facing camera, it has an ultra wide camera. And it does this cool thing, I guess, where on your own FaceTime and stuff that they showed, the camera, like, follows you around and adjusts to where you are, which is kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all the updates to the brand new crazy powerful iPad Pros. And finally, the thing that everyone's been waiting for, the brand new redesigned iMacs. These things are also pretty insane. It has a four and a half K display. The screen is now 24 inches and it has a completely new design, which I mean, I like it. I think it could have been better, but also I actually really liked renders by Ian Render of what he thought that they would look like. They look almost the same, but I get why they don't want it to look too much like the Pro Display XDR. But yeah, I like it. I personally don't like a bunch of color in my stuff, if you can tell. I like black a lot, but also speaking of the design, it is really thin. Like I'm talking this big and that's pretty much because of now the M1 is inside so they can compact it and shrink it a lot. And they explained in the event how now they don't have to have all these different components and it's all included with the M1 and the same thing with they no longer need a gigantic fan and they just need a tiny one that's really quiet apparently for the M1. Oh, also I just realized I didn't say it has an M1. Which I mean like I kind of feel like now it's in the iPad it's a little weak for it to be in the iMac I guess. But also you can't forget that this is the baseline iMac so it's not going to be your craziest power most powerful iMac because it's just replacing the baseline one which makes sense why it only has an m1 and not an m1x yet or m2 whatever they're gonna call it another update which i like is it now has a 1080p facetime hd camera and i don't know how long it's been since apple has updated their camera in a mac it has been the same horrible 720p camera forever and i'm not gonna really complain that it's only 1080p because at least it's an upgrade which i'm happy about also the speakers and microphone are now insane apparently there is six speakers all around the imac to give you that really good room filling sound but yeah, other than like the completely new design for the iMac, that's pretty much it. They also had a few tiny little updates in the event, such as updates to Apple Card and updates to Apple Podcasts. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video where we recapped the April 20th spring loaded Apple event. I hope you all enjoyed and if you did don't forget to go down below and hit the subscribe button and the little bell button so you never miss another video. Also there might be an AirTags unboxing very soon so make sure you press the bell so you don't miss it. And yeah I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.